Hi, my name's Brad, and today I'm just going to give you a little bit of an update on our 306 562 billet crank sprocket that we make for the Barra engines. Now, we've been making these for a few years now, and we just had a little bit of a design change just to make the things a little bit more effective and make them a little bit more cost effective as well. We're doing them in a new machine we've got now, which is a twin spindle machine, which allows us to do every machining operation in one go. So we don't have to take the, the sprocket out of one machine and put it into another machine. So that saved us a little bit of time and that's reflected in the cost reduction that we've had on the sprockets. So we made a few little engineering changes to the sprocket. We used a different steel this time to give a slightly cleaner signal on the magnetic pickup. Uh, we also changed the design a little bit to differentiate from the earlier sprockets to the new sprockets by only putting in the two cutouts. We used to have four or five cutouts in there before. One point that's very, very important with our sprocket is the fact that we use a true tooth form on the sprocket design as opposed to the original sprocket which is a spike tooth form. Now the spike tooth form kind of pushes the chain around whereas the true tooth form allows the chain roller to roll in and roll out of the various teeth uh, on, the, on the chain and on the sprocket so you have a, a reduced friction engagement on the chain and much more accuracy. So for 2020 that's what we've done. We've been very happy with the, our sprockets, they've been extremely reliable, but we're just trying to continually improve the product and just make it a little bit better for our customers.